Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this week. Nine new fabrics. I am inside again today um, with the air conditioner cranked up really, really high because I am fully dressed for winter. Um, sweater knit, long sleeves, I've got stockings, I've even got boots on. So I hope the lighting is okay in here. Um, but I thought it might be better than me dripping with sweat for the whole video because whilst I'm wearing winter clothes, Perth doesn't have the memo yet that it's time for winter clothes and it's still a bit warm. So today's fabrics, we have one, we have six solid colours for you um, and a couple of prints as well. So the solids first, they are called um, soft hand sweater knit. They feel like super soft Harchi. If you bought any of the super soft Harchi from us, they feel very, very similar to that. This one that I'm wearing is the Ruby. And I have done a pattern match. So I am new-ish to pattern matching. Uh, mashing, not matching, pattern mashing. Um, I am inspired by Mel Stevens, who comes up with the most amazing garments by mashing a whole heap of gorgeous patterns. And of course, Pattern Emporium make it very easy to mash. And these are all Pattern Emporium patterns that I'm wearing. So I'm going to get on my little stool and I'm going to show you. So I have used the Symphony skirt. Um, the subtle flare, I think it is, knee length and subtle flare, and then the keep it simple bodice and the true romance sleeves. So I was really wanting a, a semi swishy um, winter dress. I love it. It, you know, I'm sewing it thinking, oh, you know, all these different patterns, and this is going to take a little while to sew, and then what if I hate it? Well, it actually didn't take too long to sew at all, um, and I really like it. So, win-win. I've taken me this long to get the True Romance, and I really love these sleeves. I think they're really, really pretty. This is the extended cuff with the subtle sleeve, um, and it's really pretty. And this sweater knit is so, so soft. It feels really beautiful. It is light. It is a very lightweight sweater knit, like most of our sweater knits are. They're quite light. About 190 GSM, I think, and again, 96% poly, 4% spandex, um, but really nice. I have used clear elastic in my um, horizontal seams on this because it does have a lot of stretch. So I have clear elastic in my shoulder seams and in my waist seam here as well, uh, and it feels really stable with it. I think without it, it would pull down um, and it would stretch out and get a bit bigger on me, which in a dress, some garments that's fine, but in a dress like this, I don't think it would work. Okay, so let me show you the stretch. Uh, let me show you first. This is the right side of the fabric. So it even looks kind of soft, right? It's really lovely and soft. Not a great deal of thickness to it. Um, let's have a look. See how sheer that looks? It's because I'm holding it away from my body and we get this a lot in the videos where I hold up these fabrics and oh my goodness they look so sheer. But I'm wearing stockings and that is it underneath this dress. And I don't feel like I'm flashing, like I feel like it's okay. And there's plenty of loose fabric here um, so that if it was going to be see-through, you would be able to see through it in this sort of um, a dress. So I know it looks a bit scary when I hold fabrics up like this and you can see straight through them, but it's because there is so much distance between me and the fabric. When I hold it like that, it's a whole lot better. Okay. Look at that stretch. Isn't it huge? Lots and lots of stretch and vertically, and the drape. I mean, you can see the drape from what I'm wearing. You can see it in the beautiful sleeves, you can see it in the skirt, you can see that it looks okay. This really isn't fitted, it's probably maybe semi-fitted. It's certainly not tight. Um, the Keep It Simple isn't really that tight. But you can see, 
you can see a lot of stuff going on under here. I probably should have chosen my other bra this morning, which they're both t-shirt bras, my favourites. Um, but this one, you can just kind of see the lines a little bit more on it. So I have to remember when I wear this out in winter, when I can go outside in it without melting, um, to make sure I wear that other bra because you can see a bit going on there. Okay, so I don't need that one because you can see it right here. I've matched this up with 2072. And just because of the nature of this garment, I did actually put this thread uh, in the needles of my overlocker. You don't need to put it in both. I did, but you don't need to. You could just put it in your left needle so that the seams, you know, where they're a little bit tighter, you know, if that was black or grey or something like that, it would be quite noticeable, I think. So I decided to use this one in my overlocker. And then, of course, I needed to hem this anyway. So same one to hem it with, 2072. Okay, next we have this gorgeous pink. This is called Carnation Pink. This fabric is so beautiful and soft. You will absolutely love it. It feels divine. Um, this one, I'm not going to show you the stretch and everything. They're all the same. So Carnation Pink, and I couldn't find a match, unfortunately, in thread for this one. But it's the prettiest colour. And Navy. This is a quite a bright navy, if that makes sense. Um, you know, sometimes they can be quite a bit darker than this, and this has almost got a bit of royal blue in it, do you think? I feel like I'm seeing that in the screen at the moment. It's a little, I mean, it's it's not. It's definitely more navy than royal blue, but I feel like I can see some royal blue tones in there. So I matched this one up with 3561, and they don't look that, oh, you know, they're all right there. They're pretty good here. This is a little bit darker than the fabric, but that's okay. You want darker, not lighter for hemming. So if you're doing a hem, it's always best if you can't find the exact match, which is very hard to find the exact match, to go that little bit darker and then it'll blend in a little bit better. We have a black, of course, to keep you going for winter, my favorite color. 4,000 is that thread. And we have olive, which is gorgeous as well. Uh, 1624 is our thread for this one. Beautiful olive. And everyone seems to love this colour. Plum. Isn't it pretty? Really nice. So, not plum, raisin. Different fruit, uh, raisin. 162 is the thread for this one. And that is all of our soft hand sweater knits. They are beautiful. Great for dresses, jumpers, um, cardigans, scarves. You can just make yourself a top with it and it can be a layering piece um, because when it does get cold, even in Perth, it won't be enough just wearing this. Um, you know, I could not just wear this dress on a cold day. I would need more. But I think that's the same everywhere. You need a jacket or a coat or something. Um, and then perhaps your office might be warm enough to just wear this. It kind of depends on what the heating's like as well, doesn't it? Okay, so they are all of our soft hand sweater knits and they are beautiful. Um, okay, next, a Liverpool for you. Animal Instincts, it's very pretty. So it has this nice ivory whitish background to it, which I think really makes that print pop. It's quite a small print, which is nice. If you're ever not sure about the size of our print as well, we take all of the photos of the fabric on a mannequin. You know, your standard size, stand up mannequin, which is about the height of a woman. I'm just looking at her over there now. She's similar to my height. Um, so you can really get a, I mean, she's very thin. She's very, very thin. Um, but you can always get an idea of the size of the scale because her body, whilst a little bit smaller than most people's bodies, is all in the same proportion and it's a similar height and that sort of thing. So you can really get an idea um, of what her size is going to be. Okay. Horizontal stretch, 
a little bit vertically, not a heap. And there's your drape. So this one, I've gone with thread number 1000. 1000? Let me check. Yes, it is. And then put it with the mocha, double brush poly, and chantilly, rayon modal. It would look amazing with black as well. Fantastic with rock star leggings. Oh, beautiful. So this is Animal Instincts and it's in Liverpool. So Liverpool, if you're not familiar, has the crepey texture. You see that there? And a little bit of thickness to it. But it's only 180 GSM, so it's lovely and light, but forgiving. Okay, now another Liverpool. Dots on white. A classic dot print is gorgeous. So you can see the size of these dots from that. They're just like a mid-sized dot really, aren't they? They're not tiny, they're not big, they're just lovely. So we had the red the other week, which was very popular, and now the white. So again, your stretch. drape. So thread number 2002 for this one. And Chantilly rayon modal is what we put it with, but it's essentially black and white. You could put all sorts with it and it would look fantastic. Dots on white, Liverpool. Okay, last one that I have for you today is our Lush Sunday special, and it is a print that you've seen before. So it's called Out of Africa. It's a French cherry. It is gorgeous and soft. Absolutely beautiful to the touch. This one is 90% 90 poly, 7% rayon, 3% spandex. It's about 200 GSM. So French cherry is great for loungewear. Nice jumper or cardigan track pants, things to laze around the house in. You could also make a gorgeous jumper for going out in, or you can make a pair of joggers which are a little bit dressier as well and pop them on with a, a pair of heels and off you go. You can make a dress out of this if you wanted to. It's really, really lovely. So French cherry has one side which is lovely and smooth, and then it has a loopy side. You see those little loops there? Sometimes the print is on the loopy side. Most often it's on the smooth side. Um, this time it is on the smooth side. And it has some nice stretch. Not too much going on vertically. Really nice drape. So this one I put with thread 1651. And then I matched it up with the peach double brush poly and Chantilly. No, off-white. No, that's Chantilly. Oh my goodness. This one's off-white. Sorry. I mean, they're pretty similar, right? But still, I don't want to show you the wrong one. And black obviously would look amazing. So this one, out of Africa in salmon, we've called this one because we do have some other out of Africa prints as well. Out of Africa colours, I should say. The prints are the same. And it's your Lush Sunday special today. So if you haven't tried French Cherry before and you're curious, or if you haven't tried Lush before, now's a great time to jump in and get it. And you could probably just get yourself a metre and a half of this, and that would get you a jumper, or it would get you possibly some joggers. Um, so you don't have to go too crazy and order too much if you're not sure that it's something that you like out of Africa salmon french cherry that's all of them that's everything thank you for sticking with me uh, and watching it all don't forget to enter our competitions um, we are busy working here on the new container so we'll have some new stuff out for you next week with any luck there's a lot to go through um, we're really looking forward to that okay thanks for watching and i'll see you next week with hopefully something new thanks bye